Hey, this is B from Kongs of Us, and uh, Arcade One Up just announced they're releasing an Arcade One Up version of the Fast and the Furious game that came out in 2004 from Raw Thrills. This is the Techno Parrot version of the ROM that I'm not too familiar with. I've been working on racing builds for a little while now with my Star Wars mod and other things. This game has never run that well, in my opinion, uh, based on the control schemes itself. It's a beautiful game. I have tons of nostalgia for this. This you know beautiful orange super that's there that's playing. When you play the game itself, and I'll just show you kind of some basics of it, the, the controls on the get-go don't run that well for me when I'm playing the game using the wheel that I have set up. And I'm going to show you in a reason just for why. But just to show you off some of the controls that here, you can choose auto, manual, controls. I'm going to show you the shifter version of using the shifter uh, with this super here so you can see what the shifting looks like. Uh, and then I'll get into all the upgrades when we play it. But I just wanted to demo really quickly, you know, how the game plays with the current setup in Techno Parrot and why I've never really been a fan of the game so far. Um, so here we go, we're gonna play. And the controls, when you move to the left and to the right, uh, they're kind of not sensitive enough to keep you centered. Um, and then when you're moving, oh, I need to actually like shift into gear. So yes, I have four shifters. Um, and it's not auto centering for me. So what's happening, it's almost over steering for me. So when I move back to the left, when a wheel moves back, it doesn't move back to center. So I have to over correct it, which makes it really hard to drive uh, using a wheel at the very least. Uh, and then right now I'm using the manual settings. And so I'm actually really terrible checking my manual uh, wheel settings or my shift knob settings. It's actually terrible. Uh, so I normally drive automatic, but I just wanted to demo really quickly can, how bad this game plays from, from the offset. And I don't know if this is just me not playing the game that well. And maybe as you can upgrade your car, the steering and the track can get a little bit better. Um, I am hopeful that Arcade One Up will work and make a better version uh, than this and how it runs on the Techno Parrot version. So I just wanted to demo that really quickly and show you, uh, you know, again, this is the Techno Parrot version of the ROM there. And the way the controls work here, um, the reason why it works so bad is the wheel that's here on the Ridge Racer mod that I have, it's emulating an Xbox controller. And if you see me moving the wheel all the way to the left, it's going all the way to the left and all the way to the right. But I have to kind of move the wheel all the way to the left and the right. It's almost like moving a, this giant thumbstick uh, as a giant, uh, you know, steering wheel, as opposed to, you know, an actual Xbox controller. So this is an XO Xbox controller. When I'm moving the thumb pad, I'm just moving it to the left and to the right. And you can see uh, that cursor moving left and right. Hold on one second. There it is. Left and right very quickly. So when I'm playing the game using uh, an actual controller, it works much faster and much more responsive for me able to control it using a controller. So if you're playing the game on a PC, uh, you know, this is actually a better way to play it using an actual joystick or a controller like this uh, and not on the, the wheel. But I wanted to test it on the Ridge Racer cabinet and show you guys what it looks like. So we're going to do some demo gameplay, try to go through all the stages, do some upgrades. And I'm thinking, you know, as I played the game just a little bit earlier, uh, this game has a lot of potential replay value. There's so many different cars that you can actually upgrade. I believe once you upgrade the cars, uh, I'm hopeful there's a way the arcade one version can save your stats. For here, you're supposed to enter a keypad on the actual real arcade to remember your stats and what you played for. It actually does have some nice RPG elements for you to be able to upgrade your car and want to come back and keep playing the game cabinet. Um, so you have 12 different tracks. There's 10 here. When you step on the gas, it'll actually open up two more tracks. Let's start all the way on the easy mode and work our way up so we're going to start with times square um, and then there are six uh, we're going to do automatic just because i don't want to worry about the manual controls but you can see manual works i'm really curious about the shift there there's six cars here plus another oh seven cars plus another five here that's 12 cars plus two more that you can unlock so you can pick all these different cars i'm going to pick uh, the green Mitsubishi Eclipse, because I think that's one of the most iconic cars in the franchise. I really love this car. You have six different upgrades. You can upgrade every time you win a race. You can actually choose an upgrade. The very first upgrade you should do 
is adding the NOS though. You can only do this one time. So adding NOS will give you the boost, but you can add your spoiler for speed, decals for looks, tires for traction, which I think improves the steering, and then your engine, and then the aerodynamics, which I don't know what it does. But NOS is probably your first update that you need to do. But all right, let's do some gameplay to see how well I do. Because um, right now, like I said, the beginning of the gameplay is uh, it's really difficult to control. So I'm going to try my best to figure out the gameplay. I know there's some elements like where if you uh, turn while you're braking, you can do like 360s. You can like do other drifting things too. Let's see. Can I can I do a thing? All right. Maybe I need to do the. I got to do this better. I'm already in eighth place. And again, like I said, it's just super hard to control uh, and keep everything in a straight line. Oh, my God. I, I got to stop running driving on the other side of the road. I'm in eighth place. Uh, luckily, most of the cruising type games and Fast and Furious included kind of have that rubber banding effect where you don't get too far behind, even though you're doing terrible. Uh, but these easier stages do have a lot more straightaways and not as many turns. Um, but you still, I still find it really hard to you know control. So here's a straightaway. Oh, here's the views that you can change to. So you have three different views you can do. You can do kind of a third person or farther away one or in the cockpit view. So those are different views that you have there. I'm just gonna do this view for just a second and we're gonna NOS it up. I have my button set to NOS on my Ridge Racer control panel there. Oh my goodness, got some air. I am still in eighth place. Oh my goodness, it's terrible. All right, checkpoint. Oh my goodness, five seconds behind first. Terrible. <laughs> I do think the controls, when I was first playing this earlier, I think the controls are really bad on purpose, I have never really played the arcade version that much to know how well the, uh, the steering controls work. But I wonder, I wonder if it's a little bit on purpose. I mean, I wonder if the controls are like a little bit stiff to start off with so that you can keep playing and upgrade your car and the controls actually do improve and get better. I was trying to look online to see if there was any data on the... Um, the elements to improve but i mean come on playing in easy mode and getting fifth place uh i know is really close to the finish but yeah i got twenty thousand points lifetime earnings are there it cost a million dollars to unlock a new car now i can enter in um uh, a name to kind of track my score so i'm going to try to carefully enter my name see if i can do this carefully all right b there it is. Let's go all the way back to the end. This is really hard to, to navigate using a wheel. Oh, I can't even, I'm just gonna let the timer end. I'm not gonna get all the way to the end. Boom. Okay, anyways. So now I'm on the scoreboard as the third fastest time for Times Square. So let's keep playing. It's gonna use a continue. So I keep my previous stats. Let's go to Race Wars now and play this stage now. So I kept my nitrous oxide max out so I can do spoiler, decals, tires for traction. So you have four areas for aero, speed, traction, acceleration. When you get underglow, you get all the acceleration. You do engine, you get acceler or you get uh, acceleration for, for your engine versus the aerodynamics. Um, but tire traction, I think this is going to be the most important thing because like I said, the traction on the game by default is very, very stiff. I wonder if that's by game design and there's actual real RPG elements where the game improves. Uh, I haven't played it enough to honestly feel like uh, that's the case. Like, you know, it says traction. That means I feel like I should have better steering. Um, maybe it's in my head, but, you know, look, I'm already in sixth place. And like, yeah, it's just an oversensitive giant joystick is essentially what I'm using as the steering wheel. So um, I'm hopeful that the RK1 up version has that nice return to center um, where it can kind of auto center you without having to overcorrect and oversteer. I do think that's the issue here with um, with this version of the game um, that it's just never really won that well. And so I've actually left it off a lot of my racing builds. I've done a racing build for Star Wars. I've modded my Outrun cabinet with several racing games that you can play. Fast and Furious, although I really wanted to put it on there, I just never thought it played well enough um, and it's nice to have but it's just not a good experience in my opinion. So unless unless I just have to like actually master the game and it's just really hard, um, but this is just, again, when I have to oversteer to correct, it's just not as sensitive as the other racing games that I have. So it's like what happens is if I'm turning it to the left and I if I leave it there and, I, and it's going back to center, it's pretty much staying to the left 
it's not auto coming back to center to be able to kind of correct it and move it back to center. So that's the big difference. It's not snapping back to keep me centered with everything. So that's that's the big issue with this cabinet, or at least this version of the arcade um, ROM that's running on TechnoParrot. Um, so do I think the arcade one-up version will have this issue? I don't think so. I do think that like you know they'll they're doing a direct port. And so they're going to be able to fix any of those control issues because it's ported. Um, and my goodness, oh my goodness, I went from first to seventh. Holy crap. All right. Is it going to be ending pretty soon? I got to do NOS. Got to NOS it up. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. NOS. Oh, wait. No, that one. This one. There it is. Fifth place. No, fourth. Fourth. Third. Third. Fifth. Oh, my goodness. Man, I was doing so well, too. Oh, 0.8 seconds off first place, 20,000 earnings, so 40,000 total earnings. So yeah, there's some replay value in this. So I mean, like I can see people really wanting to jump back into this and I, it keeps my racetrack high score. So there will be some Wi-Fi to be able to keep track of your scores. So let's do Chinatown now. This is the last easy track. Let's just play through as many tracks as we can and keep upgrading. Um, do I want to keep doing tires? Do I need speed aerodynamic? I don't think the I don't even know what arrow does. Super flow carbon fire fiber. Oh, I need a spoiler. Oh, okay, dang. I did tires again. See, I don't know. I don't know if choosing your upgrade actually makes a difference or not. So let's see if double tires makes a difference. I have the NOS installed. Maybe I need a spoiler. Spoiler for my max speed. All right. Oh, I do feel like. Maybe I'll just like experiment right now and see if I can increase the traction on my tires completely to max out over the next six or I think the max is seven. What if I get it all the way seven and then like my tire, like my steering gets much better? But I don't think it's it's because of that. I think it's because of the way the emulator controls work. But yeah, I would be curious if that's in the real game that's the real issue and i have to go find a real fast and furious to play so i'm really looking forward to you know someone like jade she line who has the real game and her review of the cabinet if she ever does one um but i'd love to see just some more gameplay from her and have her take about the game um but yeah this game is is definitely fun lots of replay value i mean i'm driving the green mitsubishi eclipse from the fast and furious franchise which was my dream car when I was a little teenager, when I was 18 years old and the movie came out, I was high into the important night scene. I had my own little rice rocket car. I had a 1999 Honda Accord Coupe with the body kit. Man, I love this movie and I love this car, the way that it looked. It had the underglow, um, had the, yeah, I just love the way the Mitsubishi Eclipse looked um, back then. So this is, this is really fun to be able to actually just drive this car around, this iconic supercar. Um, not really a supercar, but you know, there's not many of them on the road. So this brings back a lot of feels just being able to drive this car around. So although I don't have a lot of nostalgia for uh, the actual game itself, I do have a ton of nostalgia for the movie and for like just this whole, these cars that I really like to, you know, still see on the road. Whenever I see uh, an old classic Toyota Supra on the road, I just like my eyes turn. And I'm like, oh my goodness, a Supra or ooh, a Skyline. Like these are just, you know, classic cars that I really grew up loving. Um, but yeah, they're all here. So this is kind of a relic of my past. 2004, this game came out. It's kind of capturing just a little, little capture of time. Another not just again. Oh, I mean, I, I wasted, wasted my NOS. I didn't do it enough. Still got fifth place. Oh, uh, I got to do better. All right, 20,000. All right, third race. I'm getting better i feel like my times are decent look i'm getting first place on the track but i'm not getting first place in the actual race which sucks so you know maybe there'll be wi-fi leaderboards for the tracks too so i think that's what's supposed to be there all right let's play through malibu let's just play through all the tracks that we see here and see how it goes all right so i got traction should i keep going with traction i kind of want to win a race though i kind of want to win a race let's do spoiler gotta add that spoiler that's part of the um the other the fun thing i want to add the decals but the decals add zero stats to your car it's literally just for looks so doing a paint job although i want my car to look cool to actually look like the iconic car maybe maybe i'll do that last i need to i need to get some more speed up to be able to actually try to 
be competitive and win a race. But maybe that's by design. Like I said, like maybe maybe the game is making you grind uh, so you can keep coming back and play and get better. You can keep your car stats and that you actually, once you have like a super souped up car and you save it, you're just like smashing and are able to come back and win more. So they, maybe the poor controls and the way that I'm losing is by game design for you to be able to just drop in more quarters and then be able to come back and play this game. It's actually it's actually kind of a smart way to keep people engaged in the game. I see a lot of replay value uh, in the cab uh, if you're gonna go that route. Uh, Cause you, can you imagine like playing the game and keeping your stats for one car coming back to it uh, and then, you know, trying to level up another car, adding another car to your garage. Like, I don't know if people are doing that uh, in the arcade, like um, if you were collecting multiple cars or whatnot, because one account, it seems like when I press start, it's not letting me go back to your garage to pick, you know, a car because like, like I don't have an account and like I'm just continuing with one car right now. So would this be my forever car to upgrade if will arcade went up have different profiles that you can like load up. I didn't see a keypad on their uh, their game cabinet. So it's really interesting to see what they're gonna do from the saving mechanic standpoint, because this game has a lot of RPG elements that you need to be able to save your progress and your stats. So we'll see, we will see how it goes. All right, Malibu is kicking my boot. T, goodness, get out of my way truck. Get out of my way truck. I got two more Nosses. I'm in seventh place. Let's get back out there. All right, I got one more NOS left. One more NOS left. I'm back in eighth place. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, my goodness. Too many turns. Too many turns. All right, these are all the cars are all in a pack right here. That means it ends pretty soon. Oh, my goodness. That means it ends right there. Oh, my goodness. I was climbing up a freaking mountain. Oh, my goodness. I'm in eighth place. Look at that. Just driving off a freaking cliff into, like, suicide right there. Track record is Deepak. Deepak, I am not a winner. I got $10,000 for being in eighth place. Speed did not help me. All right, let's keep playing. Dropping in more quarters. Dropping in more quarters. All right. Man, can I just drop in like quarters and like, um, now I'm on Central Park. Can I just like cheat and just upgrade everything ahead of time? Like, so I can get double the speed, double the trials. Let's do ground effects. Let's go. Let's get all the way arrows up. I don't know what aerodynamics does, but I have underglow now. Look, I have neon lights glowing from the underneath of my car. That's pretty freaking cool. Boom. All right. And I also know that there's other ways to be able to perform like tricks. Like when you turn, if you double pump while you turn, you're supposed to be able to like go on your side. So I don't know if that helps give you money. If you can do barrel rolls. Oh, like, yeah, so I can go on my side there. So you're supposed to double, double tap your your pedal a lot for like a boost. Although if your controls aren't really, really tight, then it's not really gonna help you. Like right now, my controls are not that spiffy and the roads are very tight. So do not, do not recommend double tapping on, again, this Techno Parrot version, the ROM is just not, not the most sync. Oh my God, I'm so behind now. I keep running into other cars and taxi. Why are there so many taxis on freaking Central Park? Why am I driving through Central Park? Ugh, that's terrible. All right, let's NOS it. Let's see if we can get back into somewhat of a race. I'm going through a bridge, back onto a track. Ugh. That's why, it's one of the reasons why I never played this game too much because the techno version, like, I just cannot control that well. This A game should not be this hard to drive and expect to do well. So um, I really hope that the controls are much easier than this PC based version of the game. So that's what always made me a little bit worried about, you know, this game when I heard that it was announced that was like, Hey, if this is like how that was rumored to be coming, I just knew how hard it was to emulate this properly. And, you know, they're using a single board computer. This game from techno parrot standpoint needs a graphics card to be able to run. Um, and so, yeah, are they going to be able to run this at the same uh, frame rates? Are they going to be able to, uh, you know, make sure the gameplay still runs smoothly? Are they going to have any issues, um, you know, with the backgrounds or anything that's coming by? 
I don't know. We'll have to see exactly what happens with the version that they come out. So I'm looking forward to other people's reviews because I don't plan on getting it right away. I uh, don't have plans to pre-order it or anything. If it comes out on sale, potentially, I got my Ridge Racer cabinet on sale a couple months later for, I think, like $400. So if it comes down to around 400 bucks, I might consider picking it up. Um, you know, it would be great to get in there. But yeah, I'm probably just going to wait to see. Oh my goodness, there's the... All right, can I get past three, six, seven? Oh, sixth place. God, I want to win a race. Like, I feel like when I play racing and other, like, cruising and other games, like, it's easier to get top three at the very least. But I think it's the controls. I'm not this bad at racing games, I promise. But it's just, it's just the nature of this version of the game. It's just so hard to play. So, I mean, if you want to, let's keep going. Ellie Ghetto. Let's go to the Ellie Ghetto. This is funny that they have these names here. All right, let's go with spoil. Oh, I can upgrade my spoiler for more max speed. I can do decals now so I can look cool. Looking cool doesn't give me anything though. Let's give me an acceleration boost. Let's do acceleration boost. So now I have a giant engine on the top. So this is not uh, movie accurate. There was never a giant engine on the Mitsubishi Eclipse, but you got your spoiler, you got speed. I swear, let's see if I can actually win something maybe i should just like boost in the beginning i don't think it's gonna do anything i think it kind of just keeps you in the back and you kind of have just to work your way in the front that's how these games work right it kind of keeps you relatively close and you just gotta like take out one car at a time and just try not to hit stuff stay relatively centered but that's the problem i can't stay centered on this control scheme oh look there's a little horsey there's a little oil barrack horsey we call those horsies when we see them on the side of the road. Look at the horsies. That's what I tell my, my kiddos. All right, 11 seconds behind. Back in front of seventh. All right. No, I should have went straight. Straight, straight, straight. This is totally the LA ghetto. Uh, there are Roscoe's. Is that a gentleman's club? No, that's a garage. That's a dumpster fire. Are we on the 110 freeway? Where are we? Is this truly the LA ghetto? Is this downtown LA? There's a raw throw sign that doesn't exist anywhere. We don't have those signs in LA. Come on, LA ghetto. Where is this? What is this based off of? My goodness. All right, we're going to NOS one more time. We're in eighth place. We're going through a bowling alley. We'll tell. I'm really curious what they base these like roads off of. I'm pretty sure they're not like street action or anything. All right. All right, went through LA River. Oh, we're driving in the LA River and there's freaking opposite traffic from cars driving in the LA river. Like what the heck? And there's dumpster fires, 16 seconds behind first place. Are you freaking kidding me? Ah, now that I'm upgraded, I wanna go back to play like the easy modes to see if I can actually beat the easy tracks. Maybe I'm just supposed to stay on the easy tracks and just farm, farm XP and get my car up to straight before I start going to these harder tracks. Just need to keep farming and get better Cause like, there's no way that I'm like able to get better. 14 seconds behind first place right now. Like what the hey? All right, this steering is just like way too difficult. I cannot, like this steering is just pissing me off at this point. So uh, I'm only doing this so I can like learn the game and see how it plays. I've just been really curious about playing this game since the announcement. And this is pretty much the only way to play it at the moment. All right, is through the Techno Parrot version of this game. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Oh, there's the checkpoint line. Nos, our way to the finish line. What did I get? We got fourth? We got fourth place. I think it was my highest finish. Fourth place. What did fourth place get me? $25,000. I have 110 lifetime earnings, and I unlock a car at 1 million bucks. Man, that's going to take a long time to unlock a car especially if I'm playing this horribly. All right, so we'll keep on playing. We can keep pumping this out. All right, Golden Gate. We can go to Golden Gate. We can go to the bay. All right, we're going to the bay. So each time you play a track, you get to upgrade your car a little bit more. So we've got engines, decals. All right, I got to do it. I got to do the decals. It's the last one. I got it. Now I have the full-on tricked out. It's all show, some go car. Looking good. I should have did that earlier. Let's see if I can get like a nice close-up view. Yeah. 
totally worth it. I'm not going any faster, but my car looks freaking cool. What can I say? Yeah, Mitsy Bitsy Eclipse. This is that 10 second car that Paul Walker owns, uh, Vin Diesel. That's right. Boom. We're going onto the Golden Gate Bridge. We're going on the bridge. It says, don't do it. Oh my goodness. Is this the Bay Bridge? This isn't the Golden Gate Bridge yet. We're like driving to the Golden Gate Bridge. So this is Bay Bridge. This is the Bay Bridge, right? Yes. So we're heading towards. Oh my goodness, we're up and down. We're doing the bottom side and the top side. I've done, I've done the bottom side and top side. There's a little island off to the left. I remember my wife used to use a Dragon Boat Festival down there. We've been to that little island on the bottom. We're driving into the city. Oh, I'm going the opposite way. I hit a police car. We're driving into the city right now. This is pretty fun. You can kind of, for those that are in the bay that kind of know the area, checkpoint. Is this accurate? Coming into the city now? Maybe we're going to drive through the city and then end up on the Golden Gate Bridge as the final final place. That would be fun. That's a little bit more iconic. That makes sense. Okay, so we're driving through the city. Got this bridge here. All right. Freeway. Keep driving opposite traffic. Oh, my goodness. Checkpoint. Oh, so much traffic. This is totally just like Los Angeles or in California. Just so much traffic. But San Francisco people... Bear, like there's so much traffic in the city. So accurate, just trashing into people. The sign says Fast and Furious. It says Got DUI. I read a billboard. Oh, that's funny. I wonder if they did any advertisement changes uh, in the game. That would be funny. Okay. We're going through some trees now. Looking, oh, there's the Golden Gate Bridge right there. That means that's where it's going to end. Oh, we're going through a freaking forest. We're going through the forest. All right, that's the Golden Gate Bridge. That means we're going to like spin around and then finish on the bridge, right? Okay, so we're going around. We're going back up. That's water. We're in the ocean. I wonder if you can see Alcatraz. All right, going up, going up, going up. And then I got a Nosset once you get to the bridge part. All right, we're on the bridge. No, no, get out of my way. All right, Nosset, Nosset, Nos. I'm on the Golden Gate. Oh, my goodness, opposite traffic. Why? 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 Oh my goodness. I finished in eighth place again. Ugh. Oh man. That's like depressing. 22 seconds, 0.2 seconds off. Even the airtime bonuses, like, I get, does it actually? Oh, the bonuses give you time off your final score. But I got sixth place. I mean, like, I still, it's still not making any money. Okay. All right, we've done all the things. We're in New England now. All right, we're going to the East Coast. We're going to New England, Boston. All right, got spoiler, got wheels, got engine. Let's see if the wheel thingy will make it better. I feel like my biggest vice, again, for this version of the game is just the steering. I don't think it's the game. If it is, that's just mad genius. But, like, I've been playing this game for, like, you know, the last hour now, and it's still, still kicking my butt. Like, I cannot get the steering quite right like yeah it's just like a little dead zone it's over sensitive steering like it should not be swerving like that when i'm going back to center it should just uh, as soon as i let it go and it goes back to center i should be going straight but that's not the problem like if i want to go straight i have to over steer to correct it in order to to get it going in the right direction oh Let's see, we'll play through a couple more stages just so you can kind of see the gameplay of all the initial stages, you know. Won't be able to do all the cars during this particular gameplay stream, but hopefully this is just a little preview of what you can expect in terms of how it would play on an arcade one-up cabinet. Again, I'm playing this on my modded Ridge Racer using the Buy Stuff Store Encoder. Uh, again, playing uh, on the arcade one-up pedals the steering wheel again there's probably a shifter but you know these arcade games while it's nice to have a shifter there i don't think many people the majority of people aren't playing these games with the shifter so the four-way shifter while it's a nice little feature that it actually has a four-way shifter um i don't know i think it's just i i think it's just a little bit of a novelty i think the majority of people are still going to be playing on automatic uh it's just a little too chaotic to be able to be thinking about using your shifter at the same time Oh my God, there's so many hills in freaking New England. Is this like real? Is Boston like this for real? Where there's all these, is it New England like Maine, New England? Like the state of, 
New England. There's a state New England, right? <laughs> Not the New England Patriots. That's what I'm thinking about. Like, right? I'm like, New England. That means like Boston. No? This doesn't look like that. All right, 159 miles per hour is my max speed right now. I think it's all relative. It's a nice neighborhood. Nice fall, autumn neighborhood there. Oh my goodness. Why am I going through freaking water? Fourth place, fifth place. All right, using my second NOS. So you get three NOS boosts. There's no additional NOSs like power ups you can get throughout the stages. You just have three to use for the entire thing. And you kind of just have to be able to uh, to get there. Oh, that's why I was saying you floor it. So I could, oh, I just lost the fifth place. Uh, man, I, I keep, uh, I'm a top 10 time. Oh, six, six time. I was like top 10 time because like I'm 10th place or like eighth place. Okay, that's the third. Eugene Jarvis, man, is getting first place on all these freaking maps. All right. Let's do some hards. Let's do hard tracks. Ugh. Let's just go through it. Hollywood, uplaid tire. Let's do speed. So I maxed out at 149 last time. I wonder if the speed, max speed will be higher now. But again, I think it's all relative because the, the AI just kind of matches your speed anyways. It's not like I'm going to be actually going faster than them. All right. All right. Pedal, pedal. Steering. Oh, look at this Hollywood. There's a Hollywood sign. There's Man's Chinese Theater. Driving through Hollywood Boulevard. There's the nail shop. Oh, I'm driving through Hollywood again. There's a Hollywood sign. One more time. How many times are we going to see the Hollywood sign in the background when there's actually only one Hollywood sign in LA? Look at that. There's a checkpoint. We're in the... Okay. Maybe that was the only time we saw it and I just reset. Okay. So we started in Hollywood and now we're just driving through the city. Even though this is nothing that looks like this. That's the downtown LA building right there. We're right underneath downtown LA. That's uh, the Mayor City Hall that we just passed. Now we're inside side of park. Oh my goodness, we're just driving through a freaking park in LA. No park looks like this in LA. This is not, <laughs> this is not Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood is just the first section. Where are we driving to? All right, I got a NOS out of here. Where are we not? Where are we driving to? We're still just in like Whiff and Hollywood to downtown LA real quick. That did not feel accurate to me. That I mean, this would be pretty much the LA ghetto right now. Just that we would be driving to. Are we going back to Hollywood? Like, where are we driving to? Where's the end point for this stage? I thought the end point would be at Hollywood. Oh, there's a little. I'm all distracted. I'm actually trying to look at the. Uh, the freeway sign underpass seeing where we're going like where are we going to are we back in hollywood do we drive around there's there's a bunch of mel's diners and where is this okay second all right maybe this is the hollywood hills now maybe that's where we're going we're going up to the fancy hollywood hills but i swear we're at city hall earlier i recognize that big building that was there well we're driving up to the hollywood sign Maybe that's where we're going. We're going up the hills. So we are going up Hollywood Hills. Okay, so this is the fancy Hollywood Hills neighborhood now. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, we're totally in the Hollywood Hills. Yeah. That's where all the fancy rich people live. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Heading to Quali Bowl, floor it. Nitrous, come on, fourth place. Oh, we're finishing at a mansion. What did I get, what did I get? Fourth place, ah. Oh. The fourth place I was so close I swear I'm not gonna ever get like a freaking first place finish all right once I level up I'm gonna go back to the easy track and see if I can freaking get first place on an easy track it's starting to like get me super mad all right Golden Gate Bridge where are we down New England we did Hollywood SF tour all right we're doing we went Golden Gate Bridge now we're actually going back to so, I mean, how many total upgrades are there? So there's one, six, seven, 14, 15. There's 20 upgrades. You have to play this 20 times to be able to max out your stats. So you have to do 20 races 
uh, you know, 20 credits to be able to play through and max out your stats. Oh, I'm getting tired. All right, I might like this is the stand-up version, but I'm sitting down on a stool to play. Absolutely. All right, but now we are in San Francisco. Uh, my max speed definitely did go up. I'm over. I was at over 150 a second ago, like just on a straightaway. Uh, you know, there's too many turns. I, maybe I got to do all the things where I have to like drift when I when I turn because I can drift if I break. Pretty sure I can do that. There's also like a trick where if you turn and you double tap, you go on your side. I'm not sure if that's actually going to make you steer better. I don't think that actually does anything. It just makes it look, makes you look cool. I'm popping a wheelie. But like, yeah, look, I'm still driving horribly. Got to bump a police car. 17 seconds behind the leader already. Oh, my goodness. Now we're driving through the San Francisco neighborhood. These are all like the cute little cars. Got nothing. Got nothing. All right, that's the seventh place car. All right, got past that one. Is that the sixth place car? That's sixth place. The other thing I don't like, like this game doesn't have like a map. It doesn't have like the map that shows you kind of where your competitors are relative to where you are. So I don't know which ones are real cars and which ones are like just NPC cars. I mean, they're all NPCs, but which ones are my, my enemies? enemies oh i totally passing up this uh orange supra yeah that's another one fourth place oh my goodness okay extreme checkpoint all right just one second behind san francisco downtown oh we're on the bridge we're on freaking pier 59 was it pier 49 or fisherman's wharf fisherman's wharf we're at fisherman's wharf i'm at fisherman's wharf but i'm still in seventh place where am i ending is this the end are we ending at Fisherman's Wharf? Where can we end? Are you driving off the freaking edge? Where are we going? I, think we're, I feel like we need to end on the pier, right? Like, how are we? Oh, we're getting off the pier now. Here. Nitrous again. Nitrous again. We're going to Fisherman's Wharf. Uh -huh. Seventh. I'm like legit getting sad and depressed that I'm like this bad at the game but i swear i think it's the controls see i even got first place on a freaking track an extreme track but it's just that hard of a the game to control all right so then there's two other hard tracks to play uh moholland drive all right back back to la all right so let's do let's do tire traction again Upgrade our tire traction one more time. See if that improves anything. Who knows? Mulholland Drive. So this, never been to Mulholland Drive, is a place in the uh, you know, LA area that is known for, oh, wow, I just did a car vault. Um, has very crazy hills. Uh, lots of people kind of speed, and it's like a mountain driving type racing track. Um, but yeah, I, liked, I used to like driving my, my Honda Accord up there. It was actually really nice to just drive it in the mountains and you know try to go over some tight kerns i don't think anybody's been real racing out there but yeah i think that's like big inspiration for some all the the crazy turns that are out there so moholland drive i don't know if this looks like moholland drive though it looks too clean actually the work the roads look too wide to be moholland drive moholland drive is a ton of like single it's not two lanes for each road. It's like one single lane for each road. So it's really, really tight. These are nice houses. Yep, that makes sense. But there's there's not enough houses around here. Mulholland Drive is like full of houses. There's not this much green. I'm all like being like, is this game historically accurate? There's all these like LA-based places. There was three LA places, right? There was the LA Ghetto. There was Hollywood. And now there's this Mulholland Drive one. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Did I just cheat? Did I just cut through a house? Oh, my goodness. Is this a real thing? I'm just, like, flying through the houses. Oh, I thought, oh, I went to third place. I totally cheated. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Hollywood Hills. Mulholland just drive. Just drive off a freaking cliff. Maybe that was a fun little shortcut. All right, can I stay third place, though? No, they came back. They came back already. I only have one nitrous left. I only have one NOS left. Gotta save it to the end. Gotta save it to the end. 
All right, gotta save it to the end. See, I wanna know how close the end is so that way I can like know what to save or whatnot. Oh man, see the steering, my steering is just not good. I can't like make these tight turns and not crash into stuff. Oh my goodness, I'm seventh place again. All right, Nas. I keep hitting poles. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? That's just a checkpoint. Oh, I'd even finish. Oh, my time expired. Man, that's sad. Wow. Okay, I didn't even get to the end. I didn't even finish a race. Ugh. Ugh. So those are extremely hard tracks. All right, Mulholland Drive was hard. That's extreme. All right, and this is Chinatown X Extreme. All right. Which Chinatown is this, though? There's so many Chinatowns. All right, tires, spoilers, engines. I guess I got to just kind of balance it out and do the engine upgrade. Chinatown Extreme. I wonder if this is Lap Play Catalog Tattoo. I wonder if... I thought there would have been, like, other racing people or, like, girls to say hello. Chinatown in the rear, parking in the rear. Is this the LA Chinatown? I don't know if this is LA Chinatown or not. Oh, my goodness. Cut through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chinatown in LA is actually pretty small. It's only just like a few streets and that's it. So wherever this is, not sure which Chinatown this is, but it's Chinatown Extreme. We're gonna NOS, gonna NOS it up for a sec. There's a small little alleyway. I think the harder the, the, the road, the smaller the streets get. But yeah, this is the final track for all the tracks that we played through. We've played through all the different tracks. I'm just, really bad again these controls are just terrible what can i do what can i do oh my goodness okay took out a dumpster fire chinatown restaurant and most chinatowns don't have this much decoration like hanging all over the place i know it's a lot of like signs and things but yeah i don't see chinatowns looking like this not that this would be historically accurate the other game that I really liked doing that with was like playing Grand Theft Auto V because that was based in the Los Angeles area and you can kind of drive through parts of that of LA that you actually recognize. That's fun when you can play games that you recognize stuff. But I don't recognize this Chinatown. Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, sixth place. Sixth place, 45 seconds. And that was sad the last one I didn't actually like time out. Oh, so there's no laps on this one. I'm just running through a freaking festival. Oh, at least there's no pedestrians in this game. That would be sad, right? You don't really see any pedestrians like on a sidewalk or anywhere. This game's are too crazy for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sixth place. Fifth place. Get up. Oh, stay straight. Oh, that guy's using an os. Pump. Double pump. Double pump for a boost. See, I don't think those do anything. I think the cars just relatively, um, you know, stay with you. Oh, so if a car is coming at you, if I double pump, I do a flip. Oh, that's a good way to, like, avoid hitting the car. What? I lost time already, too? Oh, that was terrible. I thought I had 40. Oh, my goodness. Man, those two tracks are hard. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So we played through all the stages. My goodness, I'm and going back to stage number one, Times Square or Race Wars or Chinatown. All right, we're going back to Times Square. It was our first track. Look how, how souped up my car is at this point. I have full speed or a full arrow. I have four speed, four tires, three acceleration. I have to get first place, right? Here we go. Easy track. Let's go. This is the final one. All right, come on. All right, nice and wide turns. I'm in sixth place. I feel like my steering is a little bit better. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't think the, the stats really do much. I think I think the computers are just going to rubber band to whatever level you're at anyways. So the stats are just an illusion. It's not actually making my car that much better. Is it? Like I'm, I'm naturally getting closer 
to second place. Oh my good, and maybe I do it. I'm like in first place now, a little bit easier than anything. Okay, maybe it's a little bit easier. All right, let's NOS it. Let's get in front of these guys. Just gotta stay straight and not like go crazy, right? Look at this, look at this rubber banding. Just wants to make make it that much harder for you to like stay in front. You gotta like just time your your NOSes at the end. All right, got two. All right. I'm all nervous. I'm like, oh my God, I, I totally want like a top three finish at least. Come on, come on. 50, 150, fifth place. Oh, I'm grinding on the side. Is that the end? Is that the end? Is that the end? Car valet. Got one NOS left. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm grinding on the side. What the heck? Times Square. All right. It's just like a straight freaking shot, and I can't even finish easy mode in the top five. Ah, oh, I hate. I officially hate this game. <laughs> it's official. This game freaking blows. But I'm sure the arcade one-up version will be much better. Like going through all this grinding to get all these upgrades has not helped me drive that much better at all. I'm just a terrible person that doesn't know how to play this game much, but I just want to show you guys how much easier it is to play this game using um, an analog controller. So now I'm using uh, gas. Now I'm going to play the game using a um, little Xbox controller. It's just like a wireless Xbox controller. And I'll show you guys like how much better this game plays now. How much easier I'm going to be able to move things around. All right, let's go to Times Square. Chinatown, Chinatown easy. All right, keeping automatic. Oops. Um, what do I want? What do I want? Corvette, Mitsubishi Evo, Spider, Dodge Charger, Nissan 240SX. This is a pretty car. I like the 240SX, Nissan Silvia, 240SX. Got my Nitro. Nice shiny paint job. All right, see even, even stepping on the gas feels much better. It's just much easier to control. I'm gonna be able to move so much faster. Double pump. Look, I'm so so much more, more accurate being able to like stay centered because I can move the, the joystick so much more precisely than a giant steering wheel. Like it's just the way this game was emulated, was designed to be played with a controller. When you're playing with the steering wheel, it's just it's too difficult to, to manage. So, but I am able to stay a little bit more on course. I say that as I'm like still crashing into stuff. But I feel like I'm able to at least stay a little bit more straight using the joystick controller than the wheel. Yeah. Oh, I just wasted another nitrous. Fourth place, fifth place. See, I think everybody's just rubber banding to me. Not able to get past. Fourth place, a little bit better. So close. So close, so close, so close. Your turn. Oh yeah, it's easier to like do like tricks and stuff too now. Drift. Oh, doing like tricks by pressing brake. That's not a smart move to do though. That's not smart. I'm in sixth place. No, I wanted to get first place. Come on. It's gonna tell me when to boost right now. Everybody's boosting. Everybody's boosting. Everybody's boosting. Oh my goodness, I still can't even get first place. I'm still in fourth. Would I play with a joystick or with a controller? 
All right, I hate this game. This game sucks. This game blows. I'm just kidding. It's really fun. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be ordering this game or if you're going to mod your Ridge Racer or OutRun, put a PC in it like I did and play this game on your cabinet because you can absolutely do it and just have a heck of a hard time playing it and not enjoy it at all because the game controls stink. That's going to be the benefit of the arcade one-up version. If they port it well and it plays well, plus uh, they'll have Drift, and Drift definitely cannot run at all that well um, from what I've played on any arcade game cabinet. So that's it for this video. See you guys next time. Bye.